and this is the first time I'll be doing the actual presentation with Canva. So let me know if you like it. I figured I'm doing video, so let's make it a little animated. Uh, so hopefully you'll see that coming through. If you have any problems with it, put it in the chat and I'll make sure that I'll take a look at it. Uh, so let's get started. So when we're talking about video content, I'm talking about everything from a six second looping video on Instagram all the way to a series of 30 minute fully produced videos that you put on YouTube or your website. Uh, so that it covers everything. And I'm going to use the example of one that I just created for a client of mine, Trish's in Seymour. I, she had uh, an opportunity to submit a video to a local news outlet. So it needed to be between 30 and 60 seconds. So I, I brought all my equipment, which I'll be talking about, and I went to her shop and we did some uh, video capture and I put together a nice little kind of intermediate video. So it's not like this fully produced, uh, crazy you know, lighting and everything, but it's also not something that I just shot with my camera holding it up you know, in front of her face. Uh, so coming up with an idea would be the first part of this process. And that's where I've really spent a lot of my career so far is how do you come up with content? You have a Facebook page, now what? You have an Instagram, now what do you do? And the content creation is, is really, uh, it can be a little confusing, a little daunting. So you, I, tell, I say you have to feed the beast of social media. You gotta keep giving it content. So what on earth are you gonna come up with? Well, there's a few different options and the first one would be an opportunity. So in the example that I was using for Trish's, she saw, she happened to see that Fox 61 was doing this small business salute and anybody can submit a video to that. So all of you with businesses can put together a video and share it with Fox 61 and they'll put it on their, their uh, news segment. And then it also goes on the website. So you'll have it to link back to your website, which helps with search engine optimization, SEO. So the first way to come up with content is see those opportunities. If you see an opportunity, then you have many different ways that you can go about it and coming up with that content, which we'll, I'll get more into in a little bit. The second one is say you have a new product or a service or something going on with your business and you want to share it with your audience through video. So that could happen every day you could come up with something new like i come up with my needle felt and stuff and i, I want to take a quick little video and put it on my instagram and my facebook and i put on linkedin too or maybe it's something like for rd Sinto, we don't really have that much coming out at all the time maybe a new building every couple of years or so uh, so i've got to come up with other ways to come up with content for that but that is another avenue. So we have opportunities that are out there and you want to share through video. You have products and services and new parts of your business or something that you wanna tell people about through video. And then you also have other options. So Let's see, the best way, they ask you answer. It's a concept, it's a book that I highly recommend by Marcus Sheridan. The whole concept is your customers are asking questions, you know that they're curious about X, Y, and Z, so why not give them the answer? So the biggest thing that you can take away today, I think, because this helps with video and all forms of content, is go back to emails, go back to conversations that you've had on social media, go back to conversations that you've had with people, maybe face-to-face -face or on the phone or through Zoom. What are the questions that your audience is asking you? That's a content idea creation goldmine. Answer their questions and you'll never run out of content. <laughs> Even if you haven't gotten a direct, what is this? You could still infer questions that you can answer from what they're saying. So for example, uh, for my needle felting, somebody said, well, that's really great. How long does it take? Well, that's a, a direct question that I could answer through a five minute video, maybe 30 second video, maybe a, a series of videos that I could put one on my website, one on social media, 
uh, all this content that I can create just on that one question. But then maybe somebody left a comment like, oh, that's so soft. Well, I can also use that as a way to answer a question. It's soft because I use certain kinds of wool versus other kinds, or I'm using natural wool versus synthetic wool, just for an example. Okay, so there are three main ways that I just went over about coming up with content. So see opportunities, you're going to talk about your products and services, or answer questions from your customers. Next, once you have the idea, you're going to be filming. And again, this can take on many different uh, uh, ways to do it, okay? So you have your cell phone. My cell phone is a, I use a Google Pixel 4a. It shoots in 4K, which is the same quality as many cameras that they use in Hollywood. So this is a great camera. Most phones today, also have great cameras. So you can do just the, you know, the selfie mode, hey, let's do this. And if you wanna do that and that's your brand, great. If you want to take it one step higher, you can invest in a $10 lavalier microphone, something like this, it pins onto your shirt and you plug it in. The two biggest ways to improve instantly all of your videos, sound and lights. I'm going to be sharing with you after this a list. Uh, it's a one page document with links to Amazon products. So don't worry about writing down uh, different things that I'm going to be talking about because I will be sending it to you. Uh, but lavalier microphones. This one is a standard mic and it also comes with a phone adapter. So you'll be seeing that on the Amazon link. You can also have something like this is a a shotgun microphone that goes on top of a camera. Uh, but there are many different kinds of microphones. And if you're interested in learning more about video, uh, lighting, sound, backgrounds, framing, talk to Melissa. She's one of the people who taught me video over at Comcast. Uh, that was a, it's a free program. You go, you learn about it. She'll help you out. She knows a whole bunch of stuff, especially with editing, which we'll get to next. Uh, but talk to Melissa and have a fun time learning about video. It, it's definitely worth it. I'm just gonna take a quick peek here. There are some chat. Yes, microphones. So uh, like I said, microphones are come in a variety of different way, options. Lavalier microphones, they're like 10 bucks now. So definitely suggest picking up some of those. The next thing we wanna talk about is lighting. I have a light tree here. Very, very bright. I have a set of these. It came with the two lights plus the backlight plus the screen that I have behind me and the holder for about $150. Again, I'm gonna send you a link to a kit like this, actually two different ones. These are the light bulb version. Then they also have the LED versions. Uh, I've set a couple of people up with different actual setups of studio lights and sound. So if you have questions about your specific topic or your specific setup, so if you're in an office or if you're gonna be outside or something, you can always reach out to me and I can help you pick exactly what equipment you're going to need. So as far as filming, cell phones are fine. You'll also probably want a tripod. And if you wanna take it one step even further than that, if you're going to be doing something where you're moving around a lot, I recommend one of these gizmos, which again, I will be sending a link to you. This is a gimbal. It is a, uh, it's a four point, uh, it's basically like a selfie stick. You put your phone here and when you turn it on, you can control it on the handle. And when you move, the phone doesn't move. So that allows you to be able to move around. And I did the video that I'm gonna send you as the sample, I did from the street. I walked all the way into the building using this and it looks so smooth. It, it's very professional looking and it, it was just this in my hand. So highly suggest taking a look at that. So let's see, we have how to get your idea and how to shoot the, the video. Now we're gonna talk about I'm gonna go back here, editing. Editing can be as simple as, okay, great. You have your, your the, the um, film right on your camera roll and maybe you did it one take and that's great. So hit share. 
maybe you want to add some text, maybe you want to add an intro, uh, maybe add some music to it. I'm going to send you a link to a program that's open source, it's free, called DaVinci Resolve. And I'm also going to send you a link to a 35 minute, all you need to know YouTube video on how to use it. That's the only video that I watched to get up and running with DaVinci Resolve. And I have not looked back. I've used uh, um, Premiere Pro, I've used Final Cut, I've used a whole bunch of different software editing uh, softwares. Well, I can't talk this morning. I got about three hours of sleep last night, thanks to my one-year-old. Um, but DaVinci Resolve, I now use it only for my podcasts and for all the video that I shoot. Uh, you can add sound underneath, you can add B-roll above, you could do just audio, you could do all kinds of stuff. And again, if you want an in-depth, I learn better when I'm learning from somebody. So like in a, a classroom setting. So again, Melissa over at Comcast, phenomenal. Um, there are some videos, of course, on YouTube that you can learn from, or you can reach out to me if you have a couple of quick questions. Editing does not have to be full Hollywood, but it, you could just take your videos from basic selfie, as I call it, to just that one level higher with a little bit of editing and it's not as hard as you think. Then we want to go to sharing. So sharing, when we're talking about content marketing, I used to just talk about social media. So you wanna share on Facebook, you wanna share on Instagram. Now I kind of look at it more holistically. Uh, I want to create video that goes on my website and social media, and that I can send out to news outlets, and that I can send an email. Email with a video is uh, very trendy right now, and there's a reason for that. Video also really helps on your website because it helps retain people's attention, which the longer people stay on your website, the longer, uh, the more attention you have on your website, Google and the search engines say, oh, okay, this is valuable content. Your SEO, your search and optimization will go up. Your bounce rates will go down. So video is very important for website content. And now that it's, we, we're so far ahead of where we used to be even you know, five years ago that it won't have, make your website as heavy as it used to. So 10 years ago, when you put a web video on your website, it would take forever to load. I don't know if you guys remember, especially like dial up when you dial up, you go into a website and then you'd walk away. If you have a computer that's more than a couple of years old, forget it. Uh, but now it loads on the, the mobile devices like in, in seconds. Keep it down to, you know, a, a couple minutes at most. You don't wanna put the huge files on your website still, but Video on your homepage, especially like a welcome video, very key right now for search engine optimization. If you do have a series of longer videos, like for my needle felting, I have a series of how-to videos. I host that on, on my YouTube channel and then I link it to my website. So I still have some video content on my website, but for longer content in order to help speed on my website, I put it on YouTube. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is reporting. So how do you know that this content is working? You have your ideas, you're going through all this time of filming and editing and sharing and boosting everything on, uh, you're just getting it out to all of your network, all of your people. How do you know it's working? That's when you wanna go into your analytics and you wanna see the engagement and you wanna see that go up over time. You wanna see your comments and likes and shares go up over time. Uh, you want to go into something like HubSpot where you can actually connect your content to analytics and to leads so that you can see that this one piece of content has made X amount of dollars. You, you can do that. There are ways and that's a whole uh, course in and of itself. Uh, if you're not using HubSpot, it can be a little pricey. So. Um, I don't use it a lot for my side businesses because it is pricey, but for my bigger companies that I work with, it's definitely helpful. Uh, and, and HubSpot's not the only one, but uh, Google Search Console too, you can do it that way. And Google Search Console is free. It's the new way to do, um, to kind of tweak Google AdWords so that it's easier and more user-friendly. So they're finally improving the way that they work. 
but reporting is super important. So make sure that you keep an eye on the analytics. You can also find out something very, very important in marketing, which is who is your target audience? And maybe the people that you are actually getting organically isn't necessarily the people that you thought you might be reaching organically. And maybe you could take that information, create an ad with a video and send that out there and get a much bigger bang for your buck if you actually target the right people. So in marketing, go back to basics, figure out exactly who you need to be talk talking to, which is a huge important factor overall when we're talking about video and all content, always know your audience. Again, the one key takeaway I do want you to take from all of this talk today is go to your customers, go to your customer interactions, find out what people are asking, and answer their questions. Talk about how much it costs. Talk about comparisons. Talk about uh, your competition. Talk about um, your reviews. Talk about every little tiny piece. Educate your audience on what it is that you do, even down to the smallest little minutia, because that is what people are interested in. And you have to feed that social media beast. So keep adding content and over time, you will grow a nice big content library, which will help with your search engine optimization. And you won't have to spend too, too much time because you'll have all of that on your website and linked to you, your social media. And I think that just about wraps it up. I will be sending you that link in the chat. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and see if there are any questions. Again, so